Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at setting up dominoes again, but maybe with a little more control, a little easier to do. For instance, this circular shape of the dominoes, I didn't do that by hand, nor did I do it like the previous lesson where I copied it and did a rotation, copied it and did a rotation. So let's just kind of start from scratch on this and get rid of these. You know how I like to work, just I'll just go into wireframe and get rid of these guys, all of them. All right, and get rid of this circle. Oops, got rid of my plane also, I guess. All right, I'll put one back in there. All right, so all I have this is this one domino. And this little domino, I can tell, is a little bit thin, so I'm going to scale it up on X just a little bit, make them thicker. And then I'm going to apply it, Control A, apply the scale like that. All right, so it's sitting there on the plane. So in order to make, really a lot of it is, if you're going to make a domino type reaction, straight lines, curves, you know, that combination of things can do a lot of things. And then switches, so they can switch directions and things like that. But let's do a curve setup, because with the straight line setup, it's easy to do the array modifier. And I have that in my playlist under rigid bodies. Curves are a little trickier. My cursor is at the center, I'll press Shift A and I'll add a mesh circle, in this case, not a curved circle, right? Because I want the vertices of this circle here. And before I actually do anything else, I'm going to bring up the tool shelf here and see it says the number of vertices. I'm going to change this instead of, normally it defaults at 32, but I'm going to maybe make it 18. It's just from experimentation. And then I'll scale it up like this. And then basically what I want to do is duplicate this object along each vertex of this circle. There's all my vertices here. All right, so what I'll do is I'll grab this, and then I'll shift select, whoops, I'll shift select this circle. Oops, I'm getting the plane, so I better do something. I better move it up a little bit. Like right, that, shift select the circle. I'll compare that to the object like this. And then I'll come over here to the object button right here. And then if you go down here to the bottom, you have this under duplication verts. So I'll press verts. And you can see what happens immediately. It basically duplicates this object all the way around. Now that's not a, it's just one single object still. You see your origin points right here at the center. And what I want to be able to do is convert that in, in these into individual objects. As one other thing I want to be able to do is notice they're not oriented. So these aren't, if this was falling over, it's not going to knock it over. So you can click this rotation button there and line it up. If it doesn't line up for you, you want to apply your rotation and, and scale with that control A button. Because sometimes when you edit this shape by scaling it, transforming it, rotating it, then it'll throw off this effect. So with that set, then press con Control A again, and then down here at the bottom, you can apply Make Duplicates Real. You can also find that in the menu here, Object, Apply, Make Duplicates Real. All right, so I'll make the duplicates real. And what that does, it actually puts the center points on there. So that these are real objects. This is a separate object now by itself. I could actually just move this cube out of the way like that. I could move this circle out of the way if I wanted. All right, so they're just kind of their own thing. And the nice thing about this is that um, it automatically places your origins at the center, unlike when you do the array modifier. You have to kind of do that on your own. All right, so now we have those in here. And so then I'll select them all. And I'll go into the rigid body tools. I'll make them active. And I'll select the plane and I'll make that passive like that. And then I'm going to need another object in the scene to try and knock him over. So I'll add a little sphere. Yeah, just get it somewhere near the scene. Basically like that. Let's see if it's actually, see if they're stable enough to set up. It should be. And then when I press Alt A, they should just sit there. Okay, they do. And then I can just take this and knock it into, oops, that won't work yet because of this one, since I'm moving it either manually or on keyframes, I have to come over here to the, have to make that a rigid body, 
also and I have to make it an animated rigid body. Alright, so now I'll continue running it and then I'll knock it into it. Like that and there they go. Alright, so I can see they could be spaced a little bit closer together and you'll see why. See, because it just barely hits it. So maybe instead of 18 vertices, maybe 20, 20 vertices around the circle would be better. Okay, well that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson.